is Patrice Wendling speaking with Dr. Bertram Pitt at the European Society of Cardiology. Doctor, you just presented a um, data on the subgroup analysis of the high risk groups in the Emphasis HF trial. Could you tell us a little bit about those findings? We've looked at various pre-specified high risk subgroups, uh, patients over the age or equal to 75 years, people with diabetes mellitus, people with renal disease with a GFR less than 60, uh, people had an injection fraction less than 30 percent, and people had a blood pressure less than the median. Now, in the aged group, people over 75, clinicians are rightly worried. Uh, these people were all on standard therapy, an ACE or an ARB and a beta blocker, adding something else. And uh, you don't want to precipitate hypotension or further renal disease. But we look at our data in that subset, we have the same efficacy and the same safety. So it really is impressive. The diabetes subset is particularly interested, interesting because there's been work from Scotland, Dr. Struthers, showing that spironolactone, although it improves endothelial function in most people with heart failure. In people with diabetes, it makes it worse. We've looked very carefully at our diabetic subset, which is about a third of the patients, and they have as good as, if not better, results overall. In every subset we've looked at, it's the same FSC, more or less, and the same safety. So we are very reassured, and we think clinicians should be reassured, and we think we have pretty compelling evidence uh, to use uh, the player known in people with newer heart class 2 heart failure. Would you like to see perhaps this data be used to change some of the guidelines? Well, I think the current guidelines for aldosterone blockade refer to mineral corticoid receptor antagonists in general, spironolactone or player without uh, specifying which one. Given the data I refer to in diabetes, I think there should be a discussion in the guidelines and our recommendation would be, at least in the subset with diabetes, that a polarinone would be the agent of choice. Were there not some exclusion criteria to the emphasis HF trial to reduce the risk of hyperkalemia? So are these data we, we, totally we, applicable? Well, we any time you use a mineral corticoid receptor antagonist, plarinone, spironolactone, you have to carefully select patients. We avoided people who had a potassium over five to start with. We uh, excluded people who had a GFR less than uh, 30. And we carefully monitored serum potassium. And we had this overall remarkable result of total mortality, total hospitalization reduced. Now, if the patient or the physician is not willing to do that, then there clearly would be a risk and I would advise you not to go there. But if you're willing to do that, there's just tremendous benefit. So uh, if I was a patient, uh, I would certainly want that benefit. <laughs>